Thank you. Affordable Care Act, known as Obamacare, it is not affordable. Premiums have gone up, deductibles have gone up, co-pays have gone up, prescriptions have gone up, and the coverage has gone down. What will you do to bring the cost down and make coverage better? That, that first one goes to Secretary Thank Clinton you. because you started out the last one to the audience. If he wants to start, he can start. Go ahead, Hillary. No, go ahead, Donald. No, I'm a gentleman, Hillary. Go ahead. Secretary Clinton? Well, I think Donald was about to say he's going to solve it by repealing it and getting rid of uh, the Affordable Care Act. And I'm going to fix it because I agree with you. Premiums have gotten too high, co-pays, deductibles, prescription drug costs. And I've laid out a series of actions that we can take to try to get those costs down. But here's what I don't want people to forget when we're talking about reining in the cost, which has to be uh, the highest priority of the next uh, president. When the Affordable Care Act passed, it wasn't just that 20 million people got insurance who didn't have it before, but that in and of itself was a good thing. I meet these people all the time and they tell me what a difference having that insurance meant to them and their families. But everybody else, the 170 million of us who get health insurance through our employers, got big benefits. Number one, insurance companies can't deny you coverage because of a pre-existing condition. Number two, no lifetime limits, which is a big deal if you have serious health problems. Number three, women can't be charged more than men for our health insurance, which is the way it used to be before the Affordable Care Act. Number four, if you're under 26 and your parents have a policy, you can be on that policy until the age of 26, something that didn't happen before. So I want very much to save what works and is good about the Affordable Care Act. But we've got to get costs down. We've got to provide some additional help to small businesses so that they can afford uh, to provide health insurance. But if we repeal it, as Donald has proposed, and start over again, all of those benefits I just mentioned are lost to everybody, not just people who get their health insurance on the exchange. And then we would have to start all over again. Right now, we are at 90% health insurance coverage. That's the highest we've ever been in our country. Secretary Clinton, so I want us up. to get to 100%, but get costs down and keep quality up. 